Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to restrict who can send an email to the distribution list. List. So normally, you know, we have created, uh, you know, all active users distribution list for the company. This means all active users with mailbox. But we want to restrict who can send the email to this. You know, distribution list. Not everyone in the, you know, in the company. So in the Active Directory, we have created a, you know, this executive members group is a distribution list. So we said change the group name is, you know, type is a, a distribution and is universal. And the name is AG underscore executive members. So we also change the set the go to the attribute editor and then we set the proxy if we go there. We set the proxy address, you know, to AG underscore executive underscore members at CCQ, you know, twenty twenty dot on Microsoft dot com. So this one is done. This is the default email because it's the SMTP, you know, the capital. So, and if we say the members, David Smith is the only member in this group. So now we want to restrict, you know, senders to only this, you know, this group. So if we go to the, uh, exchange online, we see the groups. So we go to distribution list. We see the, you know, AG executive members is the, you know, distribution list showing here. So now we want to go to the dynamic distribution list and we click this all active users. So If we click settings and then we edit delivery management, so by default it's only allow messages from people inside my organization. So we want to allow people inside and uh, you know and outside the you know organization. And then we can get this one. So we want to specify the senders, you know, can send the emails to this, you know, to this address. We just uh, put this, you know, AG, this one group. So this means we only allow people in this group to send the email to this, you know, distribution list. If we just click. Save changes. So change is saved. So this means you know only users in this group can send the email to this. You know all active users. Let's see how it goes. So if I just close this one, we go to the you know uh, Windows ten and go there. So if we need to create a new message, I just want yeah, I just want to do from here. Uh, so I send it to all just images. All active users can you add add all t all active users can you save then you know when I select this one it shows you don't have permission to send it to all active users it just show you you can't send it to this users now because I'm not here as uh you know this user is uh, Bob Winter Bob Winter is not in the security group so. He can't send the emails, you know, from, you know, to this 
uh, or active users group. So, if, for example, if I sign out, I sign out of uh, Bob Winter, and then I just sign out. And then I want to log in as uh, David Smith. So if I go to Outlook, So if I can get a new message, I want to send it to go there. Global address book. All the, all active users, I select all active users and then I click. Let's see what happens. Test the message. So just to send it now. So you can see David Smith can send it today, you know, all active users successfully because he's the uh, you know in the uh, executive group and this group has got the permission to send it to all active users. So he can send it by. Yeah, thank you. That's all from for this video.